My service manual says to use this one, but a lot of people use this one. Which one should I use, and what do these viscosity numbers even mean? Alright, so I've noticed that there's a lot of confusion on forums and online message boards about gear oils and their viscosities. One of the big ones is 75W140 versus 80W90. Which one should you use? Which one should you not use? Um, so I'll just go over a quick example. Let's say in your Haynes manual it says that the manufacturer's recommendation is 80W90 weight gear oil. That's fine for normal driving, normal conditions. But let's say you live in a cold climate, um, really cold, like 30, 40 below during the winter. Like let's say you live up in Canada, you're gonna need something that stays a little bit more viscous in really cold weather. That's where I'd recommend the 75W140. And I'll go over what these numbers mean real quick. Basically the 75, means that it's going to be a little bit better in cold weather um, as opposed to the 80. The W simply means that this product was tested at a colder temperature than normal. Um, and I think without that, your oils are usually tested at 100 degrees Celsius. And then this last number, that 140, means that it's going to stay thicker during high temperature situations. So, Perfect example um, with this truck right here. The manufacturer recommends using 80W90. I live in a very cold climate. During the winter, we hit 30 below, 40 below. And I also use my truck for a lot of work. I tow a lot of stuff. I run it pretty hard so that differential is getting really hot at times, especially if I'm towing a heavy trailer in the middle of summer. So rather than what they recommend, I use this because it's gonna stay a little more viscous in cold weather as opposed to the 80. And it's going to stay thicker at the same time during high heat situations, as opposed to if that was a 90. A lot of people up north think that this right here is gonna be thicker in cold weather and like turn into tar in the rear end when it gets really cold out as opposed to this, the 75W90, but that's not the case. Um, being that they both have a 75 as the first number means they're going to act about the same in cold weather. The only difference is when you're working that truck really hard, this stuff isn't going to hold up quite as well and you're not going to have the same protection as you would with the 75W140. So, and really the differences between these two are pretty minimal so you could run the 80w90 even if you do work your truck hard and you do live in a cold climate but for just a little bit extra protection i would go with this there's nothing wrong with it even though it's not really what's you know um, recommended it's still just fine to put in your differential and if you do do the 75w140 i would recommend getting the full synthetic and you'll be pretty much good to go. If for some reason you feel that your truck is a little more sluggish um, during the summer and you think that maybe that stuff is a little bit too thick for summer use, then that's fine. Dump it and then put your 80W90 in. No harm, no foul. And that should be pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about gear lubes or anything, uh, comment them down below and I'll answer them right away. Um, if this video helped you out, leave a like. Consider subscribing to Midwest Garage if you haven't already. We have a lot of new content coming out all the time. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.